Ladies and gentlemen, good morning and welcome back to our channel once again. And it is my hope and prayer that the video is going to feed you guys in good health. Personally, I am fine as you can see. Kisumu is fantastic. And maybe you could also let me know where you are watching the video from. The county or the country. In case you are out of the republic. Ladies and gentlemen, three things are now very clear as far as Kenyan politics is concerned. Particularly William Ruto. Number one, William Ruto has parted ways with his deputy Rigathi Gashagwa. And I'm not so sure whether Rigathi Gashagwa will succeed in forcing William Ruto to nominate him again as a running mate in 2027. Because that is his game plan. The second thing which is also very clear is that the mountain is also drifting away from the president. As a matter of fact, if elections were to be held today, there is no way William Ruto will be able to get 87% of the votes from the mountain the way he did in the last election. And the third thing, which is also now very clear, which is going to form the basis of this analysis, is the fact that Uhuru Mugai Kenyatta, the former president, is currently working very closely with Rigadi Gashagwa. And that move is actually worrying William Samoy Arap Ruto, because William Ruto nominated Rigadi Gashagwa to deal with one Uhuru Mugai Kenyatta. Over the weekend, Rigadi Gashagwa addressed the Kikuyu Nation using their vernacular radio stations. And Rigadi Gashagwa said so many things. And one of the things that caught my attention is when he revealed that he's currently working with Uhuru Mugai Kenyatta. This is what Rigadi Gashagwa is quoted to have said. Let me just quote in verbatim. Uhuru, Mamangina, and the mountain people accepted my apology. And besides speaking more often, there are things we are doing together. Remember, Rigidhi Gashaga was a close ally of Uhuru Mugai Kenyatta. Then because of politics, they parted ways. Then Rigidhi Gashagwa abused the Kenyatta family, which did not sit well with them. Then the moment it, was, it became very clear that Rigidhi Gashagwa and William Bruto were falling out, Rigidhi Gashagwa decided to seek for apology. And yesterday, Rigidhi Gashagwa revealed that they are actually in talks. Let me quote again another part here. He went to Kasarani embarrassed and handed over the sword. In short, it is Rigadi Gashagwa who embarrassed Uhuru Kenyatta. But Uhuru Kenyatta still handed the sword. Now it has been two years since then. Why are we still blaming him for our problems like the economy? Let us leave him alone. Let him rest. And for us, the problem we have as a government, we should handle. We should handle them ourselves. In short, Rigathi Gashagwa is delivering a message to William Samara Proto that two years into office, they should not continue blaming Uhuru Muge Kenyatta. And it was understandable why they were blaming Uhuru Muge Kenyatta. Remember, these guys contested under the hustler narrative versus the dynasty. Uhuru Kenyatta was projected as a dynasty. And therefore, all the problems which were facing the country, especially in the mountain, was blamed on Uhuru Muge Kenyatta, and it worked for them. Right now, it can't work on them. And <clears throat> Rigadi Gashagwa is concluding, let us teach our youths never again to be used by anyone to vilify our king. Let us love each other so that we get our rightful share of the Kenyan cake. So in short, Rigadi Gashagwa is advising the mountain that they should never be used again. Which means Rigadi Gashagwa is accepting that he was actually used to vilify Uhuru Mugai Kenyatta. So in this video, I want to reveal to you guys why the move by Rigadi Gashagwa to reveal that he's in talks with Uhuru Mugai Kenyatta is actually sending panic in William Ruto's camp. But before you do that, for those who are watching this channel for the first time, please take a second or two. Click the subscribe button so that next time we produce a video like this, YouTube will automatically notify you. 
And to the subscribers, I want to continue thanking you guys for your continued support. Because without that support, this channel cannot be where it is. Ladies and gentlemen, without any further ado, allow me to dive in. But again, before I dive in, allow me to also take this opportunity to introduce you guys to Lemfi. Lemfi is a mobile money app for users in the UK, Canada, and the United States of America to send money back into Kenya. They offer the best exchange rates and the money will be delivered directly into your Empresa account in Kenya, Airtel Money account, and of course, if you want, directly into your bank account. You can use the link in the pinned comment to download the app. Ladies and gentlemen, let us dive in. I've always opined on this platform many occasions that in politics, there are only two constants. The first constant in politics is normally the interest. As long as the interest of politicians can converge, I can assure you they will always work together. I'm actually not surprised that Yedi Gashagwa revealed that he's currently working with Uhuru Mugekinyata. The truth is the interest of Yedi Gashagwa and those of Uhuru Mugekinyata are currently converging. And that interest is how to finish and destroy William Ruto completely. And of course, the second interest, I mean, <clears throat> and of course, the second constant in politics is normally the betrayal. I don't know whether it is Rigadi who has betrayed Ruto or it is Ruto who has betrayed Rigadi. I don't know. But one thing I know for sure is that it is Rigadi Gashagwa who betrayed Uhuru Mugai. But why is this move worrying or sending panic in William Ruto's camp? Number one, as long as Uhuru Kenyatta and Rigadi Gashagwa are working together, there's a possibility that there is going to be an emergence of a Mount Kenya-based political party. That is something that William Ruto is totally against. Let me take you back, not even during the last election. When Uhuru Kenyatta won the presidency in 2013, he had a TNA. Then William Ruto, in his own wisdom, decided that the best way for him was to merge his party, which was URP, and TNA. Because he, want, he didn't want Mount Kenya to have their own political party. Because he knew, at the end of the day, he, Uhuru Kenyatta's term was going to come to an end. So when they were going for the re-election in 2017, what Ruto did was to engineer merger. But unfortunately for him, Uhuru Kenyatta managed to hold on to Jubilee. That's why during the last election, William Ruto had to form a new political party called UDA Party. So Jubilee remained. And after the last election, Jubilee won, won a few seats in the mountain. So after that election, it, it became very clear that the only political party belonging to the mountain was Jubilee. So William Ruto then embarked on a journey of forcefully taking over that party from Uhuru Ungekinyata. I don't know whether he has succeeded, but it just proves to you that William Ruto is not keen on any other political party emerging from the mountain. But the fact that Uhuru and Rigabi are talking, if they want a Mount Kenya-based political party, there is nothing William Ruto will be able to do. And that is the biggest fear. Because with a Mount Kenya-based political party, it means they will be able to decide what to do with that party. They will be able to say, okay, this party, we are going to sponsor a presidential candidate from ourselves. We are going to support, say, Kalonzo Musyoka, because that's also a possibility with that party. And that is something which is worrying William Ruto. Of course, even the members of parliament, UDA will get in the mountain. If a strong political party will emerge from the mountain, is something which is worrying William Ruto. Number two, the two coming together have the potential of locking William Ruto out of the presidency in 2027. Let's face it, the mountain gave William Ruto the highest number of votes. 47% of the votes William Ruto got came from the mountain. Raila Odinga only needed additional 3 or 2% votes from the mountain, William Ruto would have been out of the equation. Now we are talking of a possibility where William Ruto is facing the agency rebellion 
the mountain is drifting away and uhuru wants to revenge riyadhi wants to revenge that is a situation william ruto would not want to face and that is the political reality <laughs> number three a combined force of uru kenyatta and riyadhi gashagwa has the potential of consolidating of consolidating the mountain because let's face it william ruto was able to win the support of the mountain against all odds and if you look at it critically it was not against all odds it was because of raila odinga phobia assuming raila odinga will not be on the ballot the mountain might decide to consolidate themselves and then negotiate with another presidential candidate and that is why the talks between ruto i mean between uhuru and rigadi gashagwa favors favors in my view stephen kanozo musyoka if he were to become strategic enough in fact kanozo musyoka has the highest chance of becoming the next president of the republic of kenya in 2027 if he were to play his cards closely do you want me to do a video on that maybe i'm coming with that video in the next video in the next video number four uhuru kenyatta and rigade gashagwa have enough resources enough to disrupt william ruto in the mountain of course not nationally but in the mountain that's why william ruto was literally crying over alleged sponsors of the gnc protest rigadi gashagwa during the same same interview revealed rigadi gashagwa himself revealed during that same same interview that he single handedly funded the presidential campaign of UDA in Mount Kenya. Do you remember how Mount Kenya campaigns were so expensive? So Rigadi Gashagwa told Kenyans, yes, it is me who funded UDA campaigns single-handedly in the mountain. Uhuru Kenyatta has the ability. So if you combine those two. <laughs> William Ruto should be able to worry that really. And lastly, I've always explained to you guys that politics is also a perceptional game. Who between William Ruto and Gedi Gashagwa has betrayed the other? And who between Ruto and Uru Kenyatta betrayed each other? And because politics is a perceptional game, there is no way you can say that Rigadi is wrong, Uhuru is wrong, the only person who is right is William Ruto. So the mountain will now start rethinking and come to the conclusion that Ruto is the one who is betraying their men. Uhuru was the president, he betrayed. Rigadi, the deputy, he has betrayed. I don't know what you think, but that's my take. William Ruto is really in panic mode. I don't know what you think. Until next time, this is Lee McQueen. And by the way, if you enjoyed this video up to this stage, please let me know in the comment section. Bye-bye.